Can I trust you? Can I trust you? Cause honey, if I can't trust you, then I don't know who the hell I'm gonna trust. Mm-hmm. Honey, let me tell you something. I'm doing another movie review right now, and it is called The Thing. Mm-hmm. And uh, I am going to talk about, really and truly, the John Carpenter version, because I just don't really care about the thing from another world. It's just not good. I watched the uh, John Carpenter's The Thing years ago, honey. Yes, the girl. girl. Yes. Yes, girl. And, um, they have, uh, that really cute Kurt Russell up in there. Ooh. Ooh, I'd love for his thing to be crawled up like a J.J. And, um, they have some other actors and shit. They got that, uh, Wilford Brimley man. You know, the diabetes man. He's up in that shit. He ain't talk about no diabetes or nothing, but he's up in there. And, uh, they got, uh, some other, uh, crackers. I don't know what... But, uh, the movie is about this, um, it takes place in the Antarctica, and, um, they this sort of expedition of the something, shit, some long word, I don't know what the fuck it is. And it's all these men, in one bit, in like, one, uh, building, it's all these men. Ooh! That'd be so good. It would. I wish I was up in there. All these men. However, if I have sex with Wilfred Brimley, I wonder if he would give me that bitch. I don't care. Anyway, um, so uh, it's all these men there. There's no women up in here. No women at all. That's why I think it's. Cool. Then all of a sudden, these uh Swedish people, some starts walking in, running, whatever. They kill one of them, and they took their little husky doll. And uh, this one man up in there, he's cute too. He 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 loves the animals and shit. He must be like a Doctor Doolittle of the Antarctica or something. He uh, takes the husky in, and you know everything's good and everything, whatever. All of a sudden, this damn dog starts getting possessive looking, and he starts forming into what they call the thing. And he starts uh, killing all the other dogs in the kennel and shit like that. And um, they do some more examination work on this damn um, dog. Well, before they found the dog, they found what the uh, the Swedens or, or Vietnamese or Pygmies or what, whoever it was that found this big old spaceship. And they were analyzing it and everything. They found some stuff from their warehouse and they brought it over. It's just a big old pile of shit. I mean, it's just the thing. It's what it is. And the thing could take on many kinds of forms. And what it does, girl, is that it goes all around town up in the solar system. And it goes through all these other planets and shit. And probably rapes them, kills them, uh, bakes them lasagna, whatever the fuck it's going to do. But it takes on whatever kind of life form that it wants to take on. So, uh, when you see the thing, it takes on all sorts of different forms. Because, honey, it's confused. It really is. It don't know what it want to look like. So it just looks like all sorts of shit. <coughs> Excuse me. I'm getting a little excited about it. I'm just excited about all these men stuff in it. Then what they do next, girl, they, uh, they, uh, someone gets the thing in them, and it's that, uh, big old guy, and his head just, like, pulls right off his, his shoulders, and and uh, his stomach eats uh, some doctor's arms or something. I don't know what. And um, there's all this sh tacky shit. Just tacky. Then the head sprouts out like uh, spider legs and skirts back. And then they do this whole scene where they're trying to figure out who really has the thing in them. So they get a petri dish and everyone takes their blood out, you know, and squirts it. And if they heat up a piece of wire with some uh, gas to heat it up. So if you if you put the, the heated uh, wire in there that uh, it doesn't do anything it means it's not infected. But if it does something like comes out and tries to bite your eyeballs and at your ball headed or something, then you know they got the thing in them. That's more suspense and everything. And then they go on fighting more things and everything until the end where uh, Wilford Brimley comes up looking like whatever has a doll pop out of his uh, stomach. I'm surprised he didn't have a bottle of incense as you got diabetes. They killed that motherfucker off. And then at the end, it's just like, 
Well, I ain't gonna tell y'all that. If y'all ain't seen it, then y'all know what happened. But if you haven't seen it, honey, you need to try it out. When that movie first came out in theaters in 1982, it was not well received. It had mixed reviews. Uh, John Kovner was was saying that he ha that people hated the hated the girl. They hated it. They hated the girl. And it didn't do well because you know what other movie came out in 1982 around that time? E.T. Mm-hmm. So you have cute little uh, innocent looking, sweet looking Reese's Pieces eating motherfucking E.T. And then you have The Thing. I don't care for E.T. I like The Thing better. So, uh, what else is there? Uh, there's no special, there's no um, CGI. There's no CGI in this movie. Because CGI has really had not came out into uh, movie making and shit. So everything that you see was actually made by a person. Mr. Rye motherfucking Botin did it. Ooh, honey. He is one of the best artists that ever lived. Ooh, look. He kind of look like Jesus. But he act like he is on weed. I don't care. I still do. But anyway, but this is one of John Carpenter's best movies, girl. He did some other movies like The Foul, and he did, um, was it Escape from New York? That's the good movie. You should watch that. He did movies like, um, They Live, and he did some, uh, some other shit. Of course, he's well known for Halloween. And, uh, but this, uh, this movie is actually very good. You should go and watch it. Now, I guess every one of y'all and y'all motherfucking pooches already know that there is a prequel. It's not a sequel or a, or a fucking uh, remake. It's a prequel to the thing. And people get a little ticked off that there's a woman character in it. I, for one, wish it was me that was up in it. I'm not necessarily mad about it. But I wish that female character was me with all those men. Ooh. They are not, they said they're not going to do much CGI work to it, but we'll just see. Comes out October 14th. Y'all motherfuckers go out and see this. Know the Senate advertisement because I think everyone should watch the thing, okay? I really do like the movie because it adds a lot of suspense in it. Oh, you know, you just don't know who is what or who is who, you know. And uh, the short story uh, is entitled, Who Goes There, Girl? And, um, it's, uh, I hadn't read it, so I can't really critique it. But, um, the thing I like about the, the first thing from another world, they made that uh, James Arnett's, uh, character look like a damn vegetable. You don't look like you're scared from it, honey, when you see it. You look like you want to eat it. It's kind of like every time I watch your VeggieTales. Don't eat, don't fucking watch that show if you is hungry. It's kind of like watching the Food Channel. Because you, you sit up there watching these vegetables, these little Christian uh, vegetables and shit. Hold on a minute. Hey! Hello, fuck toy. I'm talking to my man, Rob. love to suck your bacon. I want you to enter the dragon. I want you to yodel in my canyon. I want you to stick your raw ass chicken leg into my deep fried loaf. I want you to lick my taco. I got a hair taco. Next time you see me, you probably, okay. 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 Well, hold on one second. I gotta finish off this video. So, in conclusion, no, 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 no. Stay on the phone. Stay on the phone, bitch. All right. Okay. Just stay right there. Don't go fucking anywhere. See now, people, y'all gotta keep y'all men's in line. But at least I have a good man. Anyway, in conclusions, you should go watch the fact. And I suggest you go out and get the movie from 1982, John Carpenter's The Fact. I, it is Lisa Bidet approved. The fuck y'all crackers.
know what, sweet babies? I'm going to let y'all go. I got to have some more sex talk with my sweet baby, Rossi Brown. Hey, that's right, my little bunch of bad. Get your bunch of bad. Make it your bunch of bad. Make it your bunch of bad. Get 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 your bunch of bad.